Hey guys, today we're here at Niemeyer's Trailer Sales in Albertville, Minnesota. We have Wolf Creek 850 2023 model up here. And we have Mitch with us today. He's going to be showing us the camper and doing a walkthrough. Yeah, so like Sarah said, this is the uh, 2023 850 Wolf Creek. Um, this truck camper is going to be for a six and a half foot bed. So, um, starting right here, so you do have a ladder to the roof. So it is a full walk on roof. So you can get up there and check seals or clean off solar panels or do whatever you need to do. It can travel down like this. It has a spot to kind of pop into place right there. Otherwise you can flip it up and latch it, which will give you access to your generator compartment right here. So this camper does not have the optional generator, but it is generator prepped. So the, the unit that would go in here is an Onan Cummins um, 2.5K propane generator. So it is all prepped for it. It's got the wiring, um, propane lines already run, but that is an option. So as is, it makes for great storage um, on the outside here. You do have a uh, propane disconnect switch or down here. So if you have any um, propane RV appliances like a grill or anything like that, um, you can hook those up right there. You are gonna have a power awning controlled with a switch inside that does have um, a light up there as well to give you some nice light if you're sitting out at night. And then you do have some outside speakers outside as well. Um, in the bumper here, you do have a pull out tray so that makes good storage for a sewer hose, or you could pull the tray out and um, put whatever other items you'd like in there. Um, coming around the side, you do have actually another spot for a sewer hose here, um, an ex external tube here. So this cap comes off the end right here, and you can store about 20 feet of sewer hose um, inside the tube here. So you're gonna have some venting, so venting for your furnace, Inventing for your refrigerator. Um, this Wolf Creek does have the Ryko Titan jack system, so those are good strong jacks. They do have a way to operate them manually if you ever have issues with them, but they are very reliable, so we rarely have um, any problems with that. Um, coming around the front, on the front side, you're just going to have the plug here, so this is where. Um, the wire is going to go, it's going to plug in here, and then the other end will plug into your truck, and that'll give you your camper lights and everything. You do have heavy duty rubber bumpers so you don't scuff up the front of your truck, and that helps for backing the truck under. Around on the driver's side here, this is going to be your uh, fresh tank water fill. Um, so if you open that up, there's just going to be a cap that untwists and that'll be where you add fresh water for your holding tank. Right below that, you're gonna have your six gallon suburban water heater. So this is a two-way water heater, so it will operate off of propane or 110 volt electricity, uh, whatever you have access to. Next to the water heater, you're gonna have your auxiliary shower. So it does, the camper does come with a, um, a sprayer hose and a sprayer end. So you can hook that up right here, and you do have hot and cold water out here, so you can take showers outside, spray off your feet, pets, you know, whatever you need to do. Um, underneath the camper here, you're gonna have a few connections. So right here, this is gonna be the location um, for your city water connection. So this is where you can hook up a fresh water hose to the camper directly and use water that way, instead of using the holding tank. Right here, you're gonna have an external solar plug. So you do have solar on the roof, uh, standard with this camper, but there is a plug outside here. So if you want to purchase an additional um, portable solar panel, you can just plug it in right there and that can just set out on the ground and help charge your batteries. You are gonna have coax connections here. So those are pre-wired for cable and satellite um, and things like that. <clears throat> This is going to be where you plug in the camper, so it is going to be a 30 amp connection. Um, it does come with a heavy duty power cord. The power cord it comes with is going to be 25 feet long. 
um, and again, 30 amps. You do have a light on the outside over here, which is nice. Um, this is going to be a vent for your hood fan inside, so we'll show you that, but you do have a fan over your stove top, and that's the vent for that. Right here, let me unlock it, is going to be your uh, battery compartment. So this unit is prepped, it does have two batteries in it, so here at Niemeyer's, um, our pickup campers are going to come standard with two 31 group interstate batteries um, that will vary depending on um, what dealer you, you deal with. Um, but there is room for basically any type of battery in there. And the camper is prepped to take any different kinds such as lithium or AGM or anything like that. Um, above the battery compartment here is just gonna be some plumbing access. So nothing really that you have to deal with much in there, but uh, you can get to the water lines for your bathroom, you know, sink and toilet and everything. This Wolf Creek is going to come standard with two 20 pound propane tanks. Um, it does have an automatic changeover regulator. That's what this is right here. Um, so that what's, what's nice about that is you can have both tanks open at the same time. Uh, once one of them runs out of propane, it will automatically switch over to the other while also letting you know that the first tank is empty. So that's a very nice feature. Um, you're gonna have some storage in here. So here is the uh, sprayer hose that comes with it that I mentioned. Also got your power cord in there. Um, you are gonna have some water drains and things in there. So your fresh water tank drain, sewer drains, that's all gonna be inside there. And then you're also gonna have the switch to activate the Ryko Titan jacks. And then that is the wireless remote that the jacks come with. So you can operate the jacks wirelessly using this remote. You can control each of them individually or raise and lower all of them at the same time, which is very nice. So got your sewer drain there where your sewer hose will connect. So coming back around the back side here, you are going to have more plumbing access. So this is going to make it a bit easier to reach your black and gray water uh, drain valves. You got your low point drains in there and things like that. You are going to have some external power here. So you can plug in whatever you'd like there. Spot for your license plate. Um, you know, we showed you on the other side, you do have storage in the bumper here that is pass through. So it runs all the way from one side of the bumper to the other, and you can access that from either side. Um, this camper is going to have the optional Fox landing step, which I think is a great feature. So as opposed to just having one single step that kind of hangs down low, this actually gives you four steps total. And then during travel, this will just fold up and away. Just like that. The mid-step here is removable as well. Um, on this model, there's not really anything to get to. On some models, you have to take it off to get to a storage compartment, but um, it is removable for whatever you need. Okay, so here we are inside the 850. Um, so as you first come in the door, down on your left, you're gonna have a few things. You're gonna have a power outlet. Um, this is just gonna be a switch for your entry light, so that'll be your first light as you come in the camper. And then you do have the switch for your power awning right there. Again, to my left here is going to be your bathroom. So that door just slides open. It is going to be a wet bath um, on this model. So you do have the toilet and shower right there. You have a medicine cabinet with nice storage as well as a nice skylight. Um, the campers do come with um, a shower curtain as well, so you can hang that up. There is an exhaust fan in the corner as well. And then lastly, down beneath here, you do have a flip down step because that can be kind of a big step up into the bathroom. So they give you a foldable step, which is very nice. On my right, you're gonna have your seating area. 
uh, with removable table. So what's nice about this table is that it is adjustable. It can be slid forwards and backwards depending on how much room you want. It can also be removed entirely um, and this sofa can be made into a bed. This back piece here will fold down and basically it rolls and lays flat and makes into a bed. Also on this model up above, you're gonna have another bunk. So you're gonna see you have the latches on either side here. Unlatch those and this will fold down. And you've got your mattress pad there that you can lay down and have additional sleeping there. So you do have two additional sleeping spots here as well as the queen size bed in the front of the camper. So in here, again, on the left side of the camper, um, you're gonna have some nice storage space. You are gonna have a hanging rod there, so you're good for hanging coats or whatever else. You're gonna have your microwave. that's going to be powered off of 110 volt electricity. You've got your hood here with a light and a fan. So again, that vent we showed outside, that's for the hood here. You have a three burner gas stove top so the cover just folds up and out of the way there and you have three gas burners as well as a nice little oven you do not need um, a grill lighter for any of these they are all um, direct spark there so you can light all of them just using the knobs here so you do have additional storage in the kitchen as well as some storage underneath then you're also going to have access for several different things you're going to have your water heater with your bypass valve for winterizing. Back against the wall here, you are going to have a battery disconnect switch. So that way, whenever you're not using the camper, you can turn that switch to the off position so that your batteries aren't uh, draining while you're not using the camper. Below that, you're going to have your power center. So you're going to have all your fuses and circuit breakers in one spot. Nice and accessible. This is kind of neat here. So this is actually going to be access to the outside. So if you imagine this is on your truck, this is going to be access to your truck bed, which may sound a little strange at first, but it actually makes for kind of nice storage. You know, you can store, I've seen uh, soda and things kept out there, fishing poles, things like that. <clears throat> Against the wall here, you're going to have several things. So you're going to have your thermostat, right here this is going to control your furnace and your air conditioner um, the furnace is going to be ducted throughout the camper while the air conditioner is just going to be the one rooftop unit this is going to be your stereo here so again the camper does have inside and outside speakers which you can control right here this is going to have am fm radio it's going to have bluetooth for your phone it's a cd and dvd player all that good stuff this is going to be your main control panel for the unit. So up here, you're going to have uh, your water tank monitors. So as you use water in the camper, you can press and hold these buttons here. And the LED lights on the side here will indicate how full your holding tanks are. This is going to be the switch for your water pump. So if you're using water from the tank and you need to turn on the pump, that switch is just right there. The switch for your porch light, so that's going to be an external light um, on the driver's side of the camper that we showed. So the switch for that is going to be right there. The switch for your cab over light, so that's going to be kind of a master switch for all of the lights up in the bedroom area. Um, what's nice is that while they're all controlled by that switch there, you can also get up into bed and turn them on and off up there. So you can, you can do it either way. And then these two switches down here, those are both going to be for your water heater. So again, we mentioned the water heater can be operated off of propane gas or 110 volt electricity. That's both controlled right there. Lastly on the panel, we mentioned that the camper has um, all the preparation already done for a uh, generator. So the generator that's going to come with the camper as an option um, is going to be an Onan Cummins generator, 2.5K. If that is installed, you can start and stop the generator from right there and it'll show you how many hours you've run the generator for, which is a nice feature. Over here, you're going to have your solar charge controller. So that's going to act as a monitor for your solar system. So standard, the camper is going to come with a 45 watt solar panel. Um, you can add additional solar from the factory. 
and as solar becomes more and more popular you know any RV dealership you deal with should be able to add more solar to the camper um, so what this is going to do is it's going to give you a readout so it's going to show you your battery voltage um, you can cycle through it'll show you your charging current and things like that you can set it to whatever type of battery you have so right now in the camper we have uh, deep cycle wet cell batteries so we have it set for that but you can change it to AGM or lithium or whatever type of battery you have you do have a GFCI outlet right there so that's resettable so if anything ever trips you can just reset that right there up in the bed area you are going to have a queen size bed uh, you are going to have a fantastic fan on the roof that is a two-way fan so it'll blow air in or out and it's got three different speeds and that works really well. You're going to have USB outlets on either side of the bed which are operated off of the batteries so you do not need a 110 volt power um, to charge things with with USB and you also have your regular 110 volt outlets on either side of the bed as well. So storage on either side, uh, windows you can open up on either side to get a nice cross breeze, speakers up there as well. So, and then you do have a, a shade here for privacy, so you can just unbutton that, and that'll close off the bed area. On the passenger side of the camper here, um, you're going to have your two-way Norcold refrigerator. So this will operate off of either propane gas or 110 volt electricity. You can also set it to automatic so that as you switch between the two options, um, the, the fridge will just constantly stay cooling, which is nice. <clears throat> underneath the fridge is going to be your furnace itself um, like I said the furnace is ducted but that will be where the unit itself is so and then underneath here you are going to have a nice little storage tub however that is removable and then underneath there you're going to have um, access to things like your water pump um, and different wirings and things like that 